today we're going to look at the nuts and bolts of storing massive quantities of things. I'm going to show you behind the scenes here a little bit and show you how I store some things. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at storage and why I sell, again, some of the things I sell. We center in on things that are easy to list in mass bulk, easy to buy in bulk, and easy to store and ship in bulk. We've backed away from many other aspects of things that we have sold in the past to narrow in on these types of items. This sort of thing is quick and easy and it builds up value for your store, for your business, very quickly. The quicker you can get a certain amount of merchandise up, the better off you will be. The better off you are for pumping out more stuff, for drawing in more people to see your stuff, basically. The more items you have up, the more people are going to be able to see your specific store. If you have a small amount of items and most other people around you have a ton of items, you will be the oddball out, just like cross-category interest. If you've got a bunch of things that have interest in multiple categories, you will see higher views, higher watchers on your items. There'll just be so many more people looking for them. So we're in part of my storage area. You can see the shelving behind me. Many people, if you watch my channel, you've seen this shelf or similar other ones just like it throughout my place. Um, just like on this shelf here, there's a lot of value in here. There's probably around 15,000 items just on this shelf right here. Many of these other bins carry thousands of items as well. So it's tiny things like this that run the majority of our sales. It's easy. It's quick. Now I've centered in on items that I can list like a assembly line, so to speak. Things that I can source and target at to just buy specifically from collectors, from companies, from businesses, anywhere I can get my hands on certain things like buttons in general. Now this bag right here is probably around $20,000 worth of merchandise in here. If I list this whole bag and there's around 600 individual items in here, I think every one in this bag here is individual. It's around five or six pounds of buttons. It's gonna get me around $20,000 or better in list price. Um, I don't know what that equates to individually. I haven't done the math on that yet, but some of these will sell for hundreds. Some will only sell for 20 or so bucks. But again, it's quantity. There's 600 in here. I can list a ton of these. These are mostly all from the same category. So there'll be transportation or something like that. So I can easily do one listing and then sell similar and only change the photo and a couple words in the title. If you stage these two prior to listing, like set it up as an assembly line, you can have them all lined up that are all the same price. So let's say I've got 100 items that are all worth 20 bucks. I'm gonna list each one of them for 20 bucks. If I list them together in the same category, it cuts off a step. I don't have to look at the price of them at all for 100 listings, which is a big time saver I guess even though it only saves a few seconds or so each time you do a listing it all adds up so in this case I could cut off some time from my listing steps at the end of the day I'd probably be able to get a few more listings done in that very same time frame so it is a big push and if you can cut other things off like your title on some of these there will probably be a couple hundred that all I have to do is change two words in the title and that's it so two words and then the photos, and that may be all I need to change for a whole listing. And I might have a couple hundred of items just like that. So it'll be a real easy, quick fix. Sometimes when I'm flying through stuff like that, I can list 50 or more items in an hour. That is a true honest amount. You can do that if you're listing the right items. If you've pretty much got it down to an assembly line where you've got everything lined up in a row, the same like to like items. So it's easy to list. So quantity wise, in this bin right here is over $100,000 worth of listed items. There's 3,000 almost individual items in here. Now some of my listings may have a bunch, a multitude of items in them. So you may have like one listing that I have quantity of 40. But this is a lot of items in here. I could fit at the rate this is going a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of merchandise in this one single tote here. I could almost create a business from this. And this was all listed, I think, since December 14th through to today. So it doesn't take a lot of time to build up inventory if you've got the right things, the right items. 
This is uh, individually wise, almost 2,400 individual listings. Now, obviously, we've sold some constantly as we list them. One of these bags alone is like uh, 15,000 or so, like this one here. And like quantity wise, there's a ton of material in here. This one bag alone probably weighs eight pounds, maybe 10 pounds. So, you know, it beats anything else that takes up a lot of quantity. Like uh, even these items here, even like a postcard or trade card items that I have, there's a ton of items in this one single bin. It's not just a few items. It's not just, you know, one item takes up this amount of space. It's a whole bunch of items. So, and I can put different things and mix different things in here. So I've got some poster stamps mixed in in the same bin as say the postcards. Um, there's trade cards in here. It looks like there's some labels. Yeah, here's some labels in there. If it fits in there, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter otherwise. This shelf right here is worth $100,000. This one right here, that's how much quantity is in here. This uh, whole shelf, let's say there's how many listings in here? There's probably 12, 14,000 listings on just this one shelf alone. Here's my store. Let's just show you the inventory itself in that big tote of just buttons, just so you can get an idea. Now, as you see here, there's 97,000 uh, listed quantity. Now, I have some on sale, so it's actually over 100,000. And on top of that, all of the quantities in many of these buttons are not listed in the inventory, in the item quantity amount. We've hidden them in there, so it only looks like we have one for every item that we list. Well, at least the higher dollar ones, the ones that are worth doing that for. That way we can just add another one on later. There's probably around $110,000 worth of buttons, just buttons, close to 3,000 or more uh, quantity of individual items with a total of 2,400 listings themselves. This is easy, it was quick, it's something that many other folks may have an issue trying to do. It's not possible without items that are similar in niches and things along that line. And with buttons, I've got three bins full of buttons. This is an entire bin that's bigger than the one that you just saw that we were listing from. There's, geez, thousands and thousands and thousands of more listings here. I got more that we were just going through sitting over here as well as some records I just got in some postcards I got in on the stack over there. All of this stuff takes up little to no space. Paper's the same way. Anything in paper, we kind of bag down. And there's around 220 items in this bag right here. We've already listed some. You can see my postie there is number six. So that's bag number six. So some of these are missing. They've already been listed. This is one that somebody's working on. They're all bagged. Uh, so usually there's 75 or so in one of these little bags in here. These sorts of items are usually scanned onto an SD card, and then we can take them anywhere. So this goes with a specific laptop at this time because there is a chip that has all of these images on it. These will be really quick again. It'll be one category for all of these. They're all separated by price. So mostly everything of the same price will be listed at the same time. So no category will have to be changed at all. No store category, no eBay category, no price, no shipping. The only thing I will have to do with these is probably five or six words in a title and two images and that is it. Maybe a zoom in as well on these. But again, that's very, very quick, very, very easy to do. So time frame is what I'm always worried about. If I can get more of something else up, I will list those always first because I'll be getting a bigger increase to my store than if I took longer time. I'll be able to jumpstart a big uh, push, a bunch of more people flying in to see all of the new items that I am listing. So that's part of the reason I've moved over to this. I've sold clothing before. I've got haul videos. You can see me picking up just tons, cartloads of clothing way back in the past and other collectibles. But we have tried to steer our business to where the money is, where the ability is to mass list. Again, this is basically crunching all of this aspect down to an assembly line process. You're taking hundreds of photos at a time if you have to take photos, or you're scanning hundreds and hundreds of cards at the same time through, say, a duplex scanner or a flatbed, depending on what you have. So even every aspect of listing as well, we've kind of crunched down to an assembly line also. 
So even taking the photo aspect of it's crunched down to an assembly line too. We line up the photos in specific order so that they don't have to be changed categories or the prices don't have to be changed or ones from the same area or the same maker are linked together so they come one right after another. There's many good reasons to do that as well because when you're doing that you list a bunch of the same items. If there's interest in one there's a high probability in the collectibles field that there may be interest in the other ones. So many times when I'll list like a dozen or something of the same types of items or the same collectible area specifically, I'll get a whole bunch of sales or interest from one or two people. They may buy all of those items even. So all of this stuff is part of the reason why we're able to be successful and get a quantity up. Even if it's one person listing, getting quantity doing it this way is very easily possible. If you're doing clothing, you may be limited down to 6, 8, 10, 12 items an hour at the very, very most with all the other aspects you have to do. So some items we've actually set aside, we'll list them later on. We're still buying items. We may not list them for quite some time until we get the quick, easy stuff out of the way. Again, it builds revenue. It builds your inventory up. So you're able to jumpstart. Like with the buttons here, we were able to get over $100,000 worth of buttons up since December with just a couple people listing them. That's it. And not full-time or anything else like that, just on buttons. We devote our time to all types of different things. I sparse it out so so many are listed each week. So they're still gaining interest and I can keep this going for an extremely long bit of time without just cramming the market with a bunch. If I just flood the market with a whole bunch of items in the very same categories, these niche categories, I may have some sales plummets because they won't have enough money. You have to stagger it over time and spread it out between different niches even in that niche. So I may list government related buttons like police and fire department for like two weeks straight and then switch to military, foreign, um, business or anything else like that. Same goes for trade cards, postcards, cards, books, magazines, toys, anything like that. I switched them up. Again, you've got to think about how many people are actually interested in that, how much money they may have to spend and things like that as well. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Thunderhawk and Rhino, each sold separately, new from Canada.